what's the best type of silver bullion to stack right now? Well, there's a lot of possible candidates, but today I will give you my number one pick and try to explain why I've come to this conclusion. Because the silver market, it is a fluid and dynamic market, and it's changed a lot over the past couple of years. And right now, as we approach the end of 2022, inflation is the highest that we've seen in 40 years. We're also on the verge of a major debt crisis, and premiums on physical silver bullion products are through the roof. So how do you get the best bang for your buck with silver in today's environment? I'm not gonna keep you waiting. If you wanna know what I think the best silver to stack right now is, the answer is large silver bars. So let's talk about why. Hey everybody, Smart Silver Stacker here. Thank you very much for tuning into today's video. If you enjoy it and get some value from it, please do give it a big thumbs up. And while you're at it, why not subscribe to the channel? So at the moment, one kilo or larger seems to be the way to go with silver bullion. Buying larger bullion product will help keep the premiums that you pay over the spot price of silver as low as possible. And let's face it, you know, big silver bars, they're also pretty awesome and they're fun to stack. And if you really wanna keep your premiums low, you can go with some very large silver bars. SD Bullion is having a sale right now on 1,000 ounce Comex bars, only $1.59 over spot. And believe it or not, this sale has only been going on for a couple days, but it is remarkable how many of these giant bars have already sold out. And as an aside, the mere fact that these bars are being purchased by retail investors, it just goes to show you how tight the physical market is becoming. Now, of course, these large silver bars, they do have some drawbacks. First of all, they're not nearly as divisible as smaller products like one ounce rounds and coins. And that means that you know, they wouldn't be as useful maybe in a potential barter scenario. And that's an important thing for some prepper stackers among us. And also because of their size, big silver bars, they're not as liquid as smaller products. If you want to find a buyer for a kilo bar, for example, you need to find someone who wants to buy a whole kilo of silver, not just a few ounces. And this goes doubly so for the largest silver bars, like those 1,000 ounce Comex bars. Silver bars are also not likely to appreciate the way that some sovereign coins might. You know, at the end of the day, they're really only valuable for their metal content. They're not as collectible as other forms of silver bullion. So let's talk about these problems, starting with the barter issue. I don't know about you guys, but I do find it to be kind of fun sometimes to speculate about some kind of Mad Max SHTF scenario where the dollar's gone and everyone's swapping silver coins. You know, if you've ever read James Wesley Rawls' novel Patriots, then you're familiar with this prepper stacker trope. But the reality is that silver, more than likely in that kind of a scenario, probably just gets you killed. You know, fractionality I don't think would be too much of a problem in a post SHTF barter scenario, because it's not like you're just going down to the grocery store and making small purchases. Any kind of barter of this type likely would be between groups, maybe individuals, but regardless, in order to take the risk to make a trade, the trade would likely be pretty significant. You know, you wouldn't need small fractional amounts of silver to make these small purchases. And there's also an easy solution to this issue, and that's just to have some supply of small fractional metal, maybe get $50 face value of junk silver, you know, that's 500 dimes, and that should be enough for any possible small fractional trading situation, or it's at least going to be enough to make change during a larger trade. And, you know, the real point here is, what's the likelihood of this scenario actually playing out? It's a lot more likely that if the shizzy hits the fizzy, to borrow a term from Canadian Prepper, the role of metals will be more to get your wealth through the disaster, not necessarily to help you during the disaster. That's what food, water, medical supplies, power backups, fuel, other metals, you know, like copper and lead, those preps are what's going to get you through SHTF. Now, I suppose that if we do get some truly Armageddon event that we don't recover from, maybe silver would be of some interest, but probably the true currency in that scenario would just be food and clean water. Regardless, there's plenty of things to be stacking for besides SHTF. That's just one thing that we hear mentioned a lot in the stacking community about bars is that they're not a good transactional form of silver. But I think another thing that we should keep in mind is that at today's prices, at least, a kilo of silver still has less value than a one ounce gold eagle. So even these big bars are likely better for trade than say small gold coins. But during an inflationary economic collapse, you know, perhaps one where society doesn't get completely destroyed, it's just everybody gets a lot poorer as the currency is debased, bars are fantastic for that. 
In Venezuela, you know, people there were taking small amounts of metal to sell piecemeal for the local fiat currency, the Bolivar, or for US dollars, just to help them pay for their monthly expenses. And a one kilo bar would probably be perfect for that. Selling one would get you just enough fiat for a month or two of expenses. Now, how about big bars not being as liquid? Eh, perhaps a silver bar is not as liquid as an American Silver Eagle, but this is really only going to be a problem if you are trying to sell some exorbitant amount of silver. I guarantee you that if you take one large silver bar today, you could sell it in a very short time if you put your mind to it. At jewelers, refiners, coin shops, pawn shops, eBay, maybe even Craigslist. You know, if you do that, meet in a bank lobby, be careful. Don't meet someone in a dark alley somewhere to sell them your silver. But the point is, plenty of buyers will be happy to buy a silver bar. Now, you won't be getting as much per ounce as when selling, say, an American Silver Eagle, but that's okay because remember, when you buy these bars, you're paying a lower premium too. And if you take your time, you can likely get a very good deal. You know, so for rapid sales, Maybe bars are not as good as sovereign coins, but is that really worth paying an almost 100% premium over spot with an American Silver Eagle these days? You tell me. Now, how about the fact that silver bars are just not going to appreciate the same way that a sovereign coin might? Well, that's true. But again, that is why you pay the low premium for these bars. And this video is about the best silver for stackers, not the best silver for coin collectors. Now, there is something to be said for the rising premiums over spot of some numismatic or semi-numismatic coins. You know, eagles, for example, not a great thing to buy now, if you ask me, but if you bought them years ago and you paid a lower premium, you've done pretty well for yourself. I mean, you know, you could have bought when the spot price was higher than it is today, and still your eagles might be worth more than the day you bought them because of the huge premiums that have become attached to that specific type of silver. And you could say the same thing for junk silver. You know, 90% silver coins, those are selling for nearly 60% over the spot price right now. And that's a trend that's likely to continue because, you know, they're not making them anymore. And while I still think that there is maybe some kind of an argument to be made for stacking junk silver because the premiums are likely to go higher, but, you know, betting on the scarcity and collectible premium of a specific type of coin or bullion, it's not really the true essence of silver stacking. And while this term is certainly by no means defined in only one way, to me, true silver stacking means getting as much weight in silver as possible for your money. And bars, they're really good for that. So that's why they are my top pick right now. So what do you think is the best form of silver to be stacking right now? Leave me a comment down below to let me know what you think. And thanks for watching, everyone. Smart Silver Stacker, out.